We're going to Plush Renok where we're having our first outdoor concert. Dobry den! Hello! Welcome! Vitaju vas na drugi međunarodni ukrajinski festival tancu i kulture. We as parents really felt it was very important for our kids to come out and experience this together and experience their culture and heritage and we were able to do this together like a family. Америки, місто Мінеаполіс. Зустрічайте закарпатський дубатанець, ансамбль Черемош. It's really fun and excited and I don't, I don't know, I cannot explain my emotions. It's overwhelming. Being in the homeland, being here where my mother was born, it's just a, a very emotional experience for me and I really enjoy it. I was adopted from Odessa, Ukraine when I was six months old and then I was brought to Minnesota. Um, it's a little breathtaking. Um, it's really amazing to be with like people who I like who are of the same culture as me and just like hearing the language even though I don't speak it it just like seems like I'm supposed to be here. Maybe we are from different countries we have a different culture but we, we, when we get together we all feel that Ukrainian sense and we share. I think it's super cool we get to see like different dances that we normally don't see so it's really fun and we're like all celebrating Ukraine so it's just great. There are different dances about like different regions and in a way they can tell their own stories and just show how we Ukrainians have like evolved but we have also kept the traditions of our ancestors. When we saw Ruslana she said the perfect quote. She said to do Ukrainian dancing is to be wild, to be furious and to be fast. And for the kids to see that um, from the other groups throughout uh, Canada, United States, Argentina, Ukraine, Great Britain is phenomenal. Ensemble Pavlichenko, Saskatoon, Canada. They get to see what dancing is about, what our culture is. I know a lot of um, generations now are third and fourth, and the language has been lost, but we have the dancing, we have the cultural aspect that we still keep alive. I will tell you, when we danced in Lviv, I cried after bowling. First thing, because it was the most amazing experience in my life. I've wanted to come here my whole life, and with Baba being here, has been the best experience ever. The houses that you see in here with the straw, you know, that's the house that, the, exactly the house that I was born in, in 1938. It's eye opening a little bit, just kind of just to see a different part of the world and to uh, see how they live. It's, I mean, where we are right now in the salon here, it's very beautiful. It's, uh, yeah, it's just great, great sight to see. It means a lot to be back where it all comes from, Ukrainian dance, because like all the other groups, they know what what to do, and like the professional Ukrainian dance ensemble, it's it's really great to dance in front of them. Minneapolis, Ensemble I think it's really special to have the opportunity to dance here and to show everyone else what. Uh, Americans have to offer in terms of Ukrainian dancing. Uh, there's, a, it's a whole different experience compared to it back home in Minneapolis. Here, it's uh, there's a lot more people. It seems like the pressure is really high, and we like the pressure. Great, and uh, it just felt so great. Uh, 
at Chiramosh River in Carpathian Mountains. This river inspired many songs, uh, many um, poems. Uh, it's like a um, very romantic and sentimental river, <laughs> probably for Ukrainian um, poetry and for Cheremosh dancers. <laughs> we went in it, so now we can all have that image of us in the Cheremosh River when we dance. It is very special to take my son to our homeland and and have him taste a little bit of a culture of where me and my husband are from. Well, from what they described, it's a lot different actually seeing it with my own eyes and from what I heard. So I guess it's kind of cool. It's, it just really like warms me up because I, I really like love to enjoy like Ukrainian food and watch dance with other people I know. It starts off with some salads, then borscht, the soup comes, then we have some parahe, then some meat, and oh, it's all so good. I'm so grateful that I had this opportunity and chance to bring him here and have him experience this from the first hand. And, um, when you're talking about this, they all think, oh, okay, just a fairy tale. And now they are, they have an opportunity to see that, to, to remember that that's a one once in a lifetime opportunities. We're doing a Ukrainian Hutsu wedding. We're going from the school where they got dressed, ready to go in their outfits, and now we're following the Molada and Molade, the bride and groom to church. I was the bride, I was like in it, so it was amazing. And oh, they braided my hair into two braids. It was like it, they pulled from like two sides a little bit, but it was amazing. Like in the back, they made it like look like a vinok. <laughs> That's a baba. Everyone knew like the kolmeka and the polka, so that was just fun to see. We are at the Lviv Opera House just getting ready for our big finale performance so all the groups are doing one big finale together and so we're gonna just get ready and learn that dance. Well ever since I moved to America I always like figured since it's like a part of me I was like I just maybe wanted to try it and see what it's like and if I like it it'll just be like it'll just be a part of me and it's it's fun it's dancing is fun. Um, it was really cool to be on the big stage. You know, I just got the chills when I looked out and saw the audience members and the golds in the on the decorations and everything. It was just incredible. I have performed at lots of places and no place was that special to me. It was an incredible experience. <laughs> Minneapolis. Um, this trip has been an amazing experience and one that I will never get again in my life. I, I'm just thinking, you know, why am I so blessed? I hung out with probably the best people in the world and I had the time of my life. Yeah.